Hey, what's going on, Alex? How are you? Welcome back, Roxana. Back in good, action. Good. Are you ready? How's everything? Yes, I am ready. All right. You know, I, I didn't know is today we have a class because in the chat uh, wrote uh, about that the platform is, is wrong, but I have a doubt. Hey, but I will try. And it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. no, we are here. We are here. Do me a favor, Alex. Write a message in the WhatsApp group and say, hey, guys, we are here in class. Let's go. Hi, okay. Roxana. How are you? Very well, teacher. Thanks. And you? How, how do you feel today? Pretty good. I feel did, well. <laughs> did you practice any exercise today? No, because there I watched a, a message on WhatsApp group mm -hmm. about that. Okay. No, no, no. I'm asking you, did you do any exercise? Exercise. Oh, exercise. Who, no, no, who, no. Who, no. Who, I did. Who? who. <laughs> I think about about platform. Ah, ah. Uh, English exercise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I didn't understand. Okay. But no, I didn't go to the to the gym. Okay. Today. Okay. How many times a week do you usually go to the gym? Uh three times per week. Wow, look at that. Monday, nice. Wednesday, and Friday. Wow, so tomorrow, gym day. What is Maybe. the name? What is the name of your gym? It's a sports center. Sports it's center. A, yeah, but it's a Mm, it's free because it's, it's the, I don't know, how can I say, for Alcaldia? City I Hall. I, it's a City Hall gym. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. There is a really nice uh, weight lifting team. Uh, I go to the park right here. There's a park near my house called... Parque Satellite. In, oh. uh -huh. in that gym, the city hall has a, I mean, in that park, the city hall has a gym with weights, trainer, it has boxing trainer, it has a taekwondo trainer, a basketball trainer swimming pool trainer it has everything it's really That's really awesome. nice yeah jujitsu yeah. training aerobics class training i mean it's wild soccer training track and field training speed walking i mean i'm like whoa it got ping pong training i'm like what <laughs> awesome <laughs> Yes, Brilliant. yes. And what about yourself, Alex? Do you like to go to the gym? Yes, of course. But but right now, I don't go to the gym, but I run. Ah. But long, time, long time ago, yes. Long okay. time ago, yes, I remember. But right now, just I dedicate to run. How long do you run every day? Oh... Uh, Every day, no, but uh, one day per, per week, like a 10 kilometer, 15 kilometer, or 12 kilometer, it all depends. Oh, nice. For, for example, the next week, we're going to the Atikisaya. It's a, it's a good um, running, or uh -huh. it's a good run. run. It's a good run. It's a good run. It's a good run. Yes. It's a, I like it. because you, Atikisaya. Yes, you walk and run and you are a beautiful uh, scene. scenery. Scenery, yes, scenery. Uh, beautiful. 
really beautiful. Really? Yeah. I like that. I like that. It yes, sounds like, like it. a plan. Invite me. I will go with you. Okay, perfect. I Hi, Ivan. Yes, please. Send okay. me a text message and say, hey, Mr. Santos, put on your shoes because okay. we are going to Tiki Saya. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I personally, I love to go running. I love to play basketball. I love to lift weights. Those are my hobbies. Throughout the day, I try to keep a very active life, walk, uh, you know, because I work sitting down online. So my lifestyle, if I don't make an effort then it's going to be a sedentary lifestyle, you know, and I can't do that. You know, I got to be full fitness. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and look at the first activity. The okay. first activity says, by the end of this session, participants will learn to use modifiers in the correct order. Now, who can tell me what is a modifier? Do you know what is a modifier? Can anybody tell me what is their idea of a modifier? Order of modifier? No. No? Really okay. No. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and listen to the audience. Let's continue talking about places. I think Antigua Guatemala is a pintoresque, a small old town with an incredible history. Let's continue talking about places. I think Antigua Guatemala is a pintoresque, a small old town with an incredible history. Order of modifiers. We will begin this lesson by reminding you about adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe or tell about nouns or pronouns. They make sentences more interesting. They give details that make your meaning clearer. They tell what kind or how. All right, all right. Let's look at this right here. Everybody, let's check this out. It says, words. It says, what are adjectives? Que son adjetivos? Words that describe or tell about nouns or pronouns. For example, I say, Beautiful woman. What is the adjective? Beautiful. Beautiful. Rich man. What is the adjective? Rich. Rich. Fast <laughs> car. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fast car. What is the adjective? Fast. 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 Intelligent. Boy, what is the adjective? Intelligent. Black man. What is the adjective? Black. 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 So, <laughs> so these adjectives basically describe a noun or pronoun. Make sentences more interesting. Why? Because it gives more details, gives details that make your meaning clearer, tells what kind or how many. How many? Now, when two or more adjectives modify a noun, they must follow a particular order. Adjectives or modifiers follow this particular order. Opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, purpose, and the noun. Let's talk about each one. Opinion. An opinion adjective explains what you think about something. Often people may not agree with you. Examples. Silly, beautiful, horrible, difficult. Size. 
A size adjective, of course, tells you how big or small something is. Examples, large, tiny, enormous, little. Age. An age adjective tells us how young or old something or someone is. Examples, ancient, new, young, old. Shape. A shape adjective describes the shape of something. Examples, square, round, flat, rectangular. A color adjective, of course, describes the color of something. Examples, blue, pink, reddish, gray. Origin. An origin adjective describes where something comes from. Example, French, lunar, American, Eastern, Greek. Material. A material adjective describes what something is made from. Examples, wooden, metal, cotton, paper. Purpose. A purpose adjective describes what something is used for. These adjectives often end up with ing. Examples, a sleeping, as in sleeping bag. Roasting, as in roasting tin. And then the noun. The noun, the figure that is receiving the adjectives. Now, take a look at some examples of sentences using adjective order. Silly, young, English man. Huge, round, metal, bowl. Small, red, a sleeping bag. Old, green, wicked, witch. Now that you know about modifiers, try to write a couple of sentences using as many as possible. Then, share them with your class. All right, all right. Now that you know about modifiers, try to write a couple of sentences using as many as possible. Then, share them with your class. Okay. At this moment, do you have any questions referring to adjectives? No, about adjectives, no. Okay. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Yes. I, yes. I have a question. Yes. In uh, the adjective new uh -huh. in a in age, uh -huh. uh, what is the, the meaning of new in that case? New. New yeah. means nuevo. I have a new car. Tengo un carro nuevo. I have a new car. Yes, but but uh, is between ancient, young, and old. Oh no no uh, no 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 no. These are only oh. examples. That doesn't have anything to do with it. Okay okay. Yeah okay. yeah. These are just. This is just a list. Okay. All of these okay. are just examples. Uh huh. All okay. right. Thank you. Okay. Now, for this activity, what you are going to do is you're going to give me at least one sentence per modifier. One sentence with a determiner. One sentence expressing an opinion. One sentence using a size. One sentence giving an age, one sentence giving a shape, one sentence describing a color, one sentence expressing an origin, one sentence expressing a specific type of material, one sentence giving a purpose, and one sentence with a noun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sentences total. And you will write them here in the discussion forum. You can write the same example as your partner. Do you understand? Yes. You can write the same sentence as your partner. At this moment, does anybody have any questions? Everything is okay. Okay. 
All right, let's do this. In pairs. Okay. So if you make um, sentences, right? Okay, about the first, the first is Let's continue talking. Opinion is the first. The first? No, determinant. Okay. Okay, this is the order. Determinant. Uh, to inform if the adjective is singular or plural, definite or indefinite. Okay. Um, Do you want to make a, a example? Um. Okay. Okay. Um. For example, I think we can say. Um, uh, This is an excellent. This is an excellent. Excellent. Okay. Book to read. Book to read. Okay. About opinion. Um, okay, I will do it. Um, Make you think about something or remember, okay. Um, the, um, the mathematics are difficult for me. Yeah. My things are difficult for me. About sight, shape, size. <clears throat> Origin. Outside, she is the little dancer. She, see, si. yes, she is, is the little dancer. Dancer, who I was speaking about. Who I was, yes, speaking about. Okay. About age, uh, how you honor something else? Okay. Um, my leader, my brother, is younger than me. Okay, shape. Um, shape. Do you 
give me a second. I'm trying. No, for real, I don't have an idea. I can uh, cheap. Yeah. I uh, can be. Can be. Um. A square. Oh. Um, I love that. Um, uh, Um, I don't know. Uh, okay, but we can do with color and then we think. Okay, okay. We will think about shape. Okay, I love that pink. How do you say um, smalty? Um, Nile polish, right? Nile. Yes. Yes, yes. I think it is nail. Nail polish. Yeah. Okay. About origin. Origin. Um, for example, you would say Sarah is. A Colombian girl. Sarah is a Colombian. Colombian? Girl. Okay. A Colombian. Or, yes, Colombian, right? Uh, material. Uh, this is something made, what something is made from some wooden. You know, color cotton paper. Okay. Um, material. Um, my grandmother gave me gave me a table made of wood wood wooden what is the correct pronunciation wooden 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 okay but wooden it i think it would be wooden table because it's an adjective ah uh, yeah gave me uh yes thank you wooden table yeah Okay. Purpose. Purpose. The teacher describe what something is used for. This attitude of the end with ing. Okay. Oh, okay. I have, for example, I have um,
give me a sec when I'm looking a good example. Uh, I don't have an idea. Sorry. I propose um, sleep back. Um, Yesterday, I bought, I bought a new running shoes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. Thank oh, you. it's purpose. Running shoes. Okay, and now and shape it. Shape. I when I read uh, when I read a square, I only imagine Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> For example, for I yeah, I use this this square to the name for when you are. Have you used nails? What? Know. Ah, the yes, yes, the the shape of the nails. Yes, but yes. I I don't know how to express it. It's, I don't know. I, I, I love that square nails. <laughs> <laughs> I think it sounds like rare, but. Yeah. <laughs> that. Um... Square. <laughs> square. That. That kind of square name. Nice. Yes, it sounds better. Okay. Um, okay, and now says the noun the fewer that is receiving the adjective. Uh, it's like the term, it's like, yes, that, that the first one, right? Oh. It's only the noun. But uh, yes, I think it we is can not. Use, we can use uh, any, <laughs> any adjective. Uh -huh. Okay. What can we use? What can we use? For uh, Canela is my dog's name, for example. Canela. 
Yes. It's my. It's my dog's name. Uh, Mm -hmm. I don't know if it is correct. I don't know because dog's name is not an adjective. No, no, the adjective would be canela. The adjective? Yes, because it's the name of the dog. Mm -hmm. Okay. We don't have uh, examples for that, so I don't know. Yes, there are no examples. Okay. But I think all the nouns are, are adjectives because you are identifying the person, the thing, or or what are you speaking about? Um yeah, but I think the noun, for example, if you if you say, um, <laughs> no, it's not true. <laughs> it's not true. Oh, it's not true. Your uh, sample. <laughs> uh, just, okay. <laughs> <laughs> or I like American accent. All right. All right. Uh, how do you spell as accent? A C C E N T. Double C, right? I don't know. That's right. That's correct. I'm not sure. That's correct. <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And the next one will be. I like to spell. I I like a spell word. I see that. I see that. And I watched a movie about spelling. The girl, like, oh. gain a, a, a champion, champion. Oh, a championship. Yeah? championship. About, about spelling. It's interesting. You need to, to have a, you need to learn or uh, read a lot. And we need to have a great or very good memory, right? Yeah. And you need to identify different words about different origin. It's very yeah. interesting. I love. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Material. Yeah. I have done. This beautiful table is made of good. Mm -hmm. Yes, about material. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's good metal, cotton, paper. Oh, okay. Okay, the next one is... Purpose. Purpose. Sleeping. Purpose, adjectives, sleeping. Sleeping bag, posting, sleeping. Sleeping bag, posting, as in roasting team. What is the oh, meaning of roasting? All right, let me have one volunteer, please. Let me have one volunteer, please. Alexander. Okay. okay, okay. Let me see. Give me a few seconds, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. See, okay. Give me one example. Okay, one. Yes. Okay, uh, just tell me please, is okay, okay? Please. Yes, Okay, the number one, 
I am to, I am taking class to learn drive cars. Okay. I am okay. I am taking driving classes to get a license. Driving. Okay. Okay. Driving classes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Okay, thank you, Alex. Ivania, okay. give me an example. Uh, okay. Um, okay, Ivania. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Mathematic exercises are difficult for me. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now, guys, if you are not finished, that's going to be your homework. We're going to move forward, and we're going to look at the listening activity. Listen to Maria and Ian talk about life in Sydney, Australia, who seems to enjoy living there more. All right, so you're going to listen to Maria and Ian, and you're going to identify who's talking about what. You will have five minutes and then we will check together. Okay. Let's go. Bunny, uh, uh, could you like to share your screen? Yes, yes. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's the like, listening, right? Good yeah. Okay. Um, tell me if you heard. Okay. Listen to Maria yeah. and Ian. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Listen to Maria and Ian talk about life in Sydney. Who seems to enjoy living there more? How do you enjoy living in Sydney, Maria? I love it. I lived in a little mountain town in the U.S. before I moved here, so I'm really enjoying Sydney life. And the climate is great most of the year. What do you like most about it? Well, for one thing, it's a very easy city to get around. The public transportation is pretty good which is important for me because I don't have a car. So, you see, I use buses and trains most of the time. I can usually get wherever I want to pretty easily. How about you, Ian? Well, it's a very beautiful city. I love the harbor and the opera house. And the beaches are great, of course. Oh, yeah, the beaches are great. There are great beaches close to town, like Bondi Beach. I know, it's true. But I don't have a lot of time to go to the beach because I have to work two jobs to make enough money to pay the rent. Actually, I'd really prefer to live somewhere smaller. I find Sydney too fast, too noisy, and definitely too expensive. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just lucky, but my rent's not bad at all. Actually, since I'm splitting the rent with two roommates now, it's about the same as I was paying in the U.S. And, um, yeah, I love the nightlife here, too. On weekends, my friends and I usually go to a club or a place with live music. There's always something interesting going on downtown. I've made lots of friends since I moved here. That's great. Ian, what do you do for fun in Sydney? Well, not much, I'm afraid. It's so expensive to do anything here. Also, you know because of the high rents, I can only afford to live out in the suburbs. And there isn't much happening out there, believe me. Hmm... I guess once in a while I like to go to Chinatown, though. There are plenty of restaurants there where you can eat fairly cheaply. Good ones, too. Is that right? I can't seem to find cheap food anywhere. In fact, the restaurants near me are so pricey that I hardly ever eat out. All right, here's a question. If you could change one thing about the city, what would it be? The traffic, without a doubt. I used to drive back in my hometown, but I hardly ever drive here. 
There are far too many cars and drivers are very aggressive. You have to know where you're going and you have to drive fast, otherwise other drivers can be really rude. See, I don't have a car, so that doesn't really bother me. Actually, you know, I wouldn't change anything. It's so much better here than the tiny little town where I used to live. I don't know. Sometimes I think life is better back home. Sure, it's smaller, but it's easier to live a good life. And you get to know the people better too. Okay. Um, are you ready or? Yes, I, I'm ready. Okay. Marvin? Yeah, yes, it's okay for me. Okay. Um, listen, who seems to enjoy living there more, Ian or Maria? Maria. Maria. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's easy to get around Sydney. True. Uh, sorry. Uh, Maria or Ian? Maria. Oops. Maria. Okay. The beaches are great. Which person that has this opinion? Both. Both. Yeah, both. The rent, the rents are expensive. Yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. He says uh, he, don't ha he doesn't have time, right? Because he works in two places, I, I, I think, or two works, right? Right. Right. Okay, it's a fun place to live. Who says that? Maria. Maria. Yeah. The restaurants are all expensive. Who says? Also Maria. Maria. So Maria, yeah. Life is better in a smaller town. Yeah. 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 So that's like all are correct. <laughs> Okay. Um, and what do you think about living in, where do you live first, <laughs> Roxana? In my case, I live in a small, in a small, smaller town. It's easy to get around Sydney. Sorry? It's Easy to get around Sydney? Both. Maria. Maria. Okay. Yes. The beach. All right. Let's look at the first one. Alex, number one. Number one, Maria. Yeah. Maria. Maria. Number two, Ivania. <laughs> Uh, number two says the beaches are great. Uh, both has this opinion. Hmm. But the number one again, because it is okay. easy to get around Sydney. Uh -huh. yeah. The, yeah, this one right Sorry. here. It's easy to it's... get around Sydney. Which one is that? Yeah. Maria. 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 Okay. And number two, the beaches are great. Both. Thank you. Number three, Javier. Hello, teacher. Yes, hello. The, no, the number three is Ian. Ian, excellent. Number four, Marvin. It's a fun place to live, Maria. Maria. The next one, Mirna, number five. Both, teacher. Both. Number six, Roxana. Ian, teacher. Ian. Life is better in a smaller town. 
Okay. Oh, the restaurants oh. are all expensive. Ding, 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 ding. We it's got a Maria. winner. Maria. This is Maria. It's Maria. Oh, it's oh. Maria. Is that the only one? Yes. Okay. Check. Good job, Maria. All right. At this moment, guys, do you have any questions related to this activity? No, 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 teacher. Okay, let's finish yeah. section three today and we can start section four today also. In this activity, you're going to read this article, a tale of two cities, and then you're going to answer the comprehension questions here. Are you ready? Okay. I'm going to change partners. Okay. Let's go. A little tidy, it's okay. Um, okay, let's to continue to the number can you your screen? three nine. Yes, okay. can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. Can you see the the paragraph? Yeah. Okay, let's go to read. Okay. Can start? Can you start it? Or, okay. Okay. Yes. Um, a tale of two cities. Welcome to the oldest rivalry in Australia. It has its opera house and harbour. Melbourne, Melbourne has quaint old buildings and parks. Sydney has a spectacular beaches, but Melbourne are less crowded. Talk to Melbourne's and they, they'll say their city is best. Tell to Sydney sires and they will say Sydney is the number one place to live. According to many Melbourne, Melbourneans in inhabitants live a life of ideas, discussion, and debates. Debate. I don't know how it's the pronunciation. People are active in, this, in the art and live well. And then again, that's what Sydney Sawyer says about their city too. Talk to Melbourneans and they will tell you their city has friendlier and more outgoing people than than Sydney. Most Sydney sires won't disagree about their city being less friendly. Never, nevertheless, they'll be quick to tell you that it's a dynamic world-class city with tons of things through and see. Sydney sires say they are always busy enjoying all that their city offer such as the friendly surf at Bonnie. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me see. Bronte or manly beaches. Bash how do you say batch works? Yeah, maybe, but she works, I don't know. But she works through the Sydney Harbour National Park. 
or browsing in Pannington Colorful Weekend Market. People in Downtown Sydney are always on the move, rushing to make contacts, cutting deals, and gaining in, gaining influence in Melbourne. Eating out is a pastime and the pace of life is shower and easier. Mabel may not have the great surfing of Sydney. The beautiful Darling Harbour or the Opera House in state is low key and saving. Saving? Oh, no, no, how do you say? It? You have to think a little to get under its surface, but once there, you find a perfect example of a chic ultramodern city. Sydney looks internationally for inspiration, but Melbourne tends to look regional to Japan. For example, in a word, word, if you were to compare then the American cities, Sydney would be sunny. LA, LA is Los Angeles. Yes. LA and Melbourne will be changing New York. And charming, I think. Charming, okay. Charming New York. Okay. Um, um, I. How do you say? Yo respondí todas las respuestas. Yes, you did the exercise. And the number I one is both Melbourneans and Sydney Sires love their city. It's true. True. Yeah. Melbourne is famous for the spectacular beach. Hey, city is better. The best. <laughs> it's the same. Hey, hey, the number two. Melbourne is famous for the spectacular beaches. It's true. False. False. Well, okay. The pace of life is lower for Sydney Sider than for Melbourneans. Let me see. False. 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 Okay. And. Melbourne get idea for different countries in Asia? True. Yes, true. Okay, yes, because it's like uh, Japan, et cetera, et cetera. Let me see. Yeah. Right. Woohoo. Okay, ding, true, ding, false, ding, false, false, true. Okay, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. I like, you know, yeah. I, I like it because I feel that I am learning because I studied English, but long time ago, but never I finished the class. And right now I feel, uh, I feel comfortable and I feel good. And I try to um, practice that English with my daughter, my old daughter. She talk English normally, in fluency, but sometimes I, I lost when she talk because she, she talk uh, fast sometimes. Really? Yes. Your and, accent, I, I like your accent because it's British accent. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you say, <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like British British accent. I understand when, when listen audios about British accent. Uh -huh. I don't know why. But <laughs> I, I, I think they pronounce uh, uh, were each uh, they they uh, didn't they don't join uh -huh. many words they yeah. pronounce each word more clearly for me I don't yeah. know yeah no but it's true sometimes when I talk with my daughter they say daughter my beautiful daughter and my daughter say, hey, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> that, I like my she has a, <laughs> a, a, a British accent too like you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You learn about, you learn with with uh, mm -hmm. with her. Yes, yes. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I enjoy enjoy speak with yeah. Uh, it, it, it's it's amazing that you have a someone to to practice. Yes. I don't have my mother that uh, don't like uh -huh. uh, when I try to speak English with her. Yeah, she why? didn't. She don't like to uh, when I when I say something in English. Uh huh. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, she, but uh, mm -hmm. she she didn't under, she don't, she doesn't understand anything. Uh, uh, but I say I say I say to I said to her that uh -huh. if if I practice with her, uh, she she can understand understand. Yes. Yes. It's not necessary to 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 study to study English you understand yeah. depend depend of the situation I think yes and yes. it's better when you don't uh, don't study grammar because it's confused because yes. when I try to 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 talk something to say mm -hmm. something I think it's it's is correct grammar structure or no? <laughs> yeah, um, yes, it's true. It's better. It's better when you don't. But it's necessary. My yeah. teacher at the at the university said to me, it's necessary to when you live in a in a, a in a country that that people don't speak. Mm -hmm. uh, English is necessary uh -huh. to learn grammar. Yes, yes. But yes. Yes. I have a theory about that. It's not necessary, mm -hmm. I think it is. <laughs> I, I, I could like to learn English with a, with a person, uh -huh. but be, without grammar. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. I don't know, it's my theory. It, yeah. It probably is more is easier but i don't know it's my theory <laughs> no yes but for example when we talk for when, when we talk about ah okay the morals but uh, what's in the models morals ah okay i know right now i know what the morals is about that should would could but long time ago hey, the morals i don't remember anything about that but right now is ah okay is is i want to say like a advice our opinion or for example when it's a oh. mask obligation I, I understand but actually and when, when I, you speak you I, I don't know if you need to say cool yeah. or should or... <laughs> <laughs> right now I, Difficult, need, I, think. I need to use the should a word a mask but, <laughs> but maybe the conversation is 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 important because we try to talk yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not important. It's good. All right, let's check the first one, ladies and gentlemen. Both Melbournians and Sinanerns love their city. Is that true? or false true. True. true true does everybody agree true yes true. yes true yes. okay okay number two melbourne is famous for its spectacular beaches is that true or false Oh. False. 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 Does everybody agree or disagree? Agree. 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 It's false. Excellent. Number yes. three. Agree. The pace of life is slower for Sydney ciders than for Melbourneians. Is that true or false? False. 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 
do you yeah. agree or disagree? Agree. I agree. I agree. Everybody <laughs> agrees. All right. And the last one, number four. Melbourne gets ideas from different countries in Asia. Is that true or false? True. 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 Everybody says true. Yes. Do you agree or disagree? Agree. 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 Let's check it out. Ding, 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 ding. That exactly. is correct. Oh, All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and stop right here. Okay. Please continue working on the platform on section four. You have a good night. Bye, guys. Okay. Good night. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye. bye everybody. Bye. Enjoy bye, everybody. your Thursday because it's Thursday and tomorrow is Friday. Right. T-G-I-F yes. Friday. <laughs> okay. Friday. You, Monday, right? Fridays, we eat cocktails, shrimp, and michelada. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay. Okay, Ooh, bye. Monday. See you tomorrow. No, tomorrow there's class. No class? No. Class. Monday. Class. Tomorrow there's class. class. What? Why? Because we Why? have to we have to make up the days from the vacation. Uh, really? Really? Okay. Really? Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you, see tomorrow. you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye.